It's time. I got no choice. Today marks the start of this 30 day challenge of me running every single day. Oh my gosh, I got a mean side ache. But why? Well, ever since I was a little lad trying to build muscle, I saw running as a thing that does the exact opposite. So I didn't see a point. However, after watching some YouTube recently and seeing some absolute units still running marathons, I realized this actually may not be all true. And maybe running isn't all that bad. First, we gotta get my starting point. <sighs> I'm hoping I got a good little weight on me right now, but we'll see. We are looking at less than expected. No, <laughs> 164.6. Put it up on the board. 164.6 is our starting weight for the challenge. It's gonna be interesting to see how that changes. Hopefully it goes up. <laughs> Physique wise, here's the before. Hopefully it doesn't change too much because me personally, it takes me forever to put on any muscle whatsoever. So if I lose any, this is gonna be catastrophic and it's gonna put me back like five years of progress. The rules for this challenge that I have, there are kind of no rules. Basically, I just have to run every single day, no set distance without fail. That's it, easy, right? <laughs> Morning, ladies and gentlemen. It is day number one of the challenge here. The goal for today, honestly, is just to get out there, take things nice and easy, kind of start to get in my rhythm. It's been some time since I last ran. And if I'm talking a little weird, I have a canker again, so yeah. <laughs> Anyways, take things nice and slow and just hope I don't have a catastrophic injury or something. That would suck. Hey guys. <laughs> so you're probably thinking, what's this dude doing? Isn't he supposed to be running? I am. I am indeed supposed to be running. <laughs> Since I filmed that last clip, I've gotten a little bit distracted a few times. Sat on my phone for a little bit, did a little bit of work, ate some food, watched some YouTube. Basically, I've just been procrastinating for the past like seven hours. <laughs> and I'm finally like, oh shoot, I haven't ran yet. That little thing I'm supposed to be doing that this entire video is based around, oh, I haven't done that yet. Awesome. So it's time for me to grow a pair. Get my freaking running shoes off this top shelf, dust them off. Ah, look at them puppies. Discount running shoes, baby. I think these were like 15 bucks. And man, they've got some miles on them. <laughs> man, I'm dreading this for some reason. I am procrastinating so freaking bad right now. Get these boys on, let's go run. Hey, you know it's about to be a good day when you got some holes in both your socks, my boy. That's how you know they're old trustees. It's time. No more procrastinating, I'm out here now. I got no choice. Let's run. Bro, this is freaking horrible. Running is one of those things. You get a little spurt of motivation. You're like, yeah, I'm gonna go on a run. Then you get out here and it just freaking sucks. <laughs> oh my gosh. I got a mean side ache right down here in my little lower ab. Cardio wise, I don't feel too bad, honestly. But my body just freaking hurts. Hope things take me out. I'm just trying to breathe through it. I'm doing a little loop. So I'm making it around the loop right now. I'm almost done, but. All right, a little update on my body for you. Uh, my legs are pretty cooked. I'll be honest. I did hit a leg day the other day, so it could be due to that. But overall, uh, my legs are a little hammered, but I don't feel too bad. So that's promising. I didn't push myself too hard, so I'm worried if I do, I might get a little cooked. But the point of this challenge is to challenge myself, obviously. So I'm gonna have to step up the intensity a little bit more. For now, I actually don't feel too bad. Let's go run. Yeah, buddy. Got my little running shorts on today. Same things that took me on my unprepared almost marathon. If you guys like running, I'll put that video up here. I tried running a marathon with no training. That wasn't the brightest idea I've ever had. <laughs> but out here day two, it's hot as nuts today, bro. It's freaking October. Oh, almost October, actually. How's it till October? It's like end of September. Oh, man, it's freaking hot. Let's get running. I got my same loop today. I actually liked it last time. It wasn't too bad, but I'm gonna try to pick up the pace a little bit more. Hopefully I don't regret my decision. Holy yes, sir. I was feeling pretty good this morning. My shins are hurting a little bit. I'm getting a mean side ache as we speak, actually. In my rib this time. The final stretch, the uphill. You can see where I left off my camera. <coughs> Freaking side ache hurts so bad, bro. We made it. Cardio wise, I'm feeling pretty good still. It's just my body isn't really keeping up with me. And my side aches and stuff. 
which I guess I'll take that out of anything, but man, it hurts though. Good morning world. Today, I'm actually quite excited. I'm doing a little something different. As you can see, I'm still at my house, but I was thinking, I was like, you know what? I might as well make this challenge a little bit fun at least. So I'm going to do a little bit of trail running. It's not an official trail, but I'm just going to go back here and just freaking run around. I mean, look how beautiful it is. You know what I'm saying? I'm just gonna go run around. Who says I gotta run the same pathway every day? I'm gonna just do a little trail running, see how that treats me. Holy frick. Big old drop off here. Woo. All right. Okay, I'm starting to regret my decision. It is sandy and I guess not sander, I don't even know, but it's extremely slippery and I cannot get my footing very good. Good news is I did find a little game trail. So it's a little more compact, but look at me, bro. I gotta bob and weave through these trees. Holy frick, bro. I just rolled my ankle a little bit. I was wondering if something like this was gonna happen. I'm just gonna be running on the freaking wilderness and all, but mm, that freaking sucks so bad. It definitely hurts to apply pressure to it. Ah, oh, frick me. I'm gonna run home. I don't want to push it too much. Mm. And I hope this one's a quick recovery because freak me. Okay, so I got some good and bad news for you. Good news is ankle is feeling okay. Thank goodness. Bad news is it's another day of running. Bro, look at this infestation of, I don't know what these are called, fire bugs or something. They are all over. It's like an apocalypse and they fly around. They must love this white stuff. I've never seen so many in one spot. I never have. Okay, so let me address the elephant in the room there. A lot of you are probably gonna be like, what the frick is happening here? What happened to your eye, Carson? It got hurt in jujitsu and it's been sticking around a lot longer than expected. I got it re-poked yesterday, so not ideal, but uh, yeah, I don't know what happened. I just got hit weird or something, but happened to jujitsu, so I'm not getting abused. Don't you worry. Anyways, speaking of jujitsu, one of the main reasons I'm actually doing this video, not one of the main ones, I should say. One of the reasons I'm doing this video is because I have a jujitsu competition coming up. So I gotta stay down a little bit more on my weight than I normally would. It's just like, yo, this is perfect. Holy turkeys. It's Thanksgiving. <laughs> Look at them, bro. Holy freak, those are bigger than expected. Anyways, so I got my jujitsu coming up. First ever competition. It's in two weekends from now. So if you guys want me to film that thing, let me know. I'll do a little vlog. It'd be like a little game day vlog. A little throwback to the football days. And I got you. I'm on the hill if you can't tell. <sighs> Dude, I just had to stop here to admire this freaking mountain. The fall colors. Oh my gosh, it is beautiful. This is crazy, bro. Can't believe it's already fall time. Stuff like that, bro. Just the little things makes waking up to do these runs just so much more enjoyable. I look like a freaking toddler in time out. <laughs> I was just thinking back to all of these freaking challenges that I've done over the years. Running a mile every hour for 24 hours, 100 push-ups every hour for 24 hours, running a marathon without training, all these different challenges, all these things that you have to almost alter your mind to be able to complete, right? You know what I'm saying? And it's like most people in the world never push themselves to that extent, to where they're literally altering the entire way that their brain is working to complete something. But I've just become so accustomed to it over the years, and I've realized it's just a mindset that you have to get into. And I think it's great finding that thing that pushes you outside of your comfort zone. It's scientifically proven, the more that you can push yourself outside of your comfort zone, the easier hard things are going to become in the future. So why not do the hard thing when you're planning on doing it when you are conscious about doing it that way if you get into some sort of circumstance where you have to do that thing where maybe you have to run 10 miles or you have to lift a certain amount of weight to protect you or someone you love wouldn't you rather be prepared for that prior than when you're in the heat of the moment that's just the way I see it so finding that thing that pushes you outside of where you are comfortable because the more you can do that the safer honestly that your life is gonna be can't believe there's another challenge almost coming to an end I still hate running but I love the challenge it gives me, that's for sure. The final day is complete. I just went on the last run of this 30 day challenge. <sighs> Bro, it's crazy to think about how fast this challenge flies, but looking back on it, there were so many times where I'm like, dude, why am I doing this? Why do I put myself through this? This freaking sucks. So many days where I just wanted to quit. But now looking back, it's like, bro, it wasn't even that hard. You almost get like, blinded 
to what you just went through in a way. It's really weird, but it's funny because it just makes me like, why should I consider so much what I feel in the moment? Because after, I'm not gonna feel this emotion. All I'm gonna know is if I did or did not do it. Doesn't matter how I felt during. All I know is if I did or didn't. So you might as well do it, YOLO. Anyways, <laughs> of this motivation stuff. It's time for the final results of my physique. I got a little sweat going, so I might look a little shiny and aesthetic. The physique. Side profile. I'm gonna be honest with you, I feel a lot smaller. So it's gonna be interesting to see what the scale says. The most important part. The moment of truth. Did I lose, stay the same, or possibly gain weight? <laughs> gain weight would be awesome, but we'll see. There is no freaking way. One pound is all. That's not bad. One pound. One freaking pound is all. After this entire challenge, literally going into this, I don't know if I recorded it or not, but I was so under the impression I would lose at least five pounds. I got so much more cardio, pushed myself a lot more, and I only lose one pound. Freaking worth it all day. It sucks ball sack. I hate running, and there's a chance I don't run anymore after this, but that's literally my entire paradigm about running just exploded. That is crazy. I got a little burnt today, oh freak. Anyways. That's another challenge in the books, ladies and gentlemen. Let me know what other challenges you want me to try to complete or any other videos you want to see. Like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Peace.